and they're off, heading to save another life. Houston Healthcare's emergency medical technicians handle about 100 calls a day, which increased to about 150 when the pandemic began. Advanced EMT for the Houston Healthcare Joshua Seligman says after each transport, the cabin of the ambulance is thoroughly cleaned. Saliva, coughing, things like that. You don't know what that could get on. You know, a patient could sneeze, it could be microtized, it can get in behind things. So the department added to the cleaning process. We changed our cleaning chemicals around a little bit. Officials say they clean with inside the truck several times a day using an ultraviolet light in a special peroxide based solution. You can never be too safe, especially when you talk about immune compromised or the elderly population. Everything inside the truck is sanitized. According to Seligman, the material they use to wipe down the equipment are then disposed of in biohazard containers. He feels the additional safety measures are effective and keep everyone protected, especially the patient. With limited room to work in the back of the ambulance, I asked Seligman about the risk of being in a small space with the patient. We have N95 masks, we have protective gowns, face shields, safety goggles, uh, gloves. Uh, even when it was difficult to find PPE, we were provided the PPE necessary to be able to protect ourselves and protect the patients. There are about 85 emergency medical service trucks in Houston, all equipped with the same gear. According to Houston Healthcare, some EMTs contracted the virus last year and were sent home to quarantine. But since the vaccine is available to those who work in the medical field, all personnel have been vaccinated, including Seligman. The job can be risky and got a little more difficult during the pandemic, but he says people have emergencies and need help. In Warner Robins, Jatrissa Lupin, 41.